No reunion. Mike denies inviting Sussexes to the Tyndall's wedding anniversary after coronation snub. Mike Tyndall is out of a busy couple of months, having attended King Charles and Queen Camilla's coronation, organizing his charity golf tournament, and a very glamorous trip to Monaco to watch the Grand Prix with his wife Sarah. In the event, despite knowing that Chris Rock criticized Meghan Markle, their cousin-in-law, for acting dumb about the royal family in her Netflix show, Mike and Zara chanted candidly with him anyway. And now the former rugby star is set for double celebrations this Sunday. Not only will he mark Father's Day with his three children, Mia, Lena, and Lucas, but will also celebrate Lena's fifth birthday. Naturally, Mike won't invite the Sussex to see these two special family gatherings after he was irritated by having to sit in Prince Harry's rear road during King Charles's coronation and Harry's contemptuous, suggestive gaze. Lena Elizabeth Tyndall was born 18th of June 2018 at the Stroud Maternity Hospital in Gloucestershire. Mike and Zara's little girl has made a few public appearances since her birth with her most recent being the Easter Sunday church service in Windsor and last year's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Mike and Zara, who will celebrate their 12th wedding anniversary in July, are doting parents to Mia Lena and two-year-old Lucas. A questioning Zara opened up about her family life after competing at the Bram Horse Trials last week. The mom of three was not joined at the event by Mike with their children, but she said sometimes the family comes up. But it depends on how busy everyone is, with three little people that's juggling everything. Meanwhile, Mike and Zorro will likely join their royal relatives to celebrate King Charles' birthday parade at Trooping the Color on Saturday. While it's not known if the couple and their children will join senior royals on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the fly pass. They're likely to watch the ceremony from the palace windows. Zara's mother, Princess Royal, usually rides horseback at Trooping the Color as she is the senior colonel. Horse hold the household division, not the horse hold division. Internally appointed role, Princess Anne will host a traditional dinner for her fellow household division colonels, who include the Princess of Wales the colonel of the Irish Guards on the eve of the Trooping the Colour ceremony. Besides, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle won't be at the Troop in the Colour. And for many royal experts, it's better this way. On Thursday, People magazine reported that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been invited to the annual celebration of the British monarch's birthday. This year's event, happening on Saturday, will mark the first time it is taking place during the reign of Harry's father, King Charles III. Now that they are no longer working royals, neither Harry nor Meghan, nor Prince Andrew for that matter, are welcome on the Buckingham Palace balcony, Christopher Anderson, author of The King, told Fox here. He isn't about to show up just so that he can be humiliated one more time. What's the point of that? King Charles will surround himself with those people he feels he can trust and rely on to do the heavy lifting. Queen Camilla, Princess Anne, Prince Edward, and his wife Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, and of course the real stars of the show these days, Prince William, Kate Middleton, and their kids. I think there will be a lot of gasps when the kids step out and people see just how much George, Charlotte, and Louise have grown. Sadly, their cousins Archie and the Libet won't be there. But by not even inviting the Sussexes to attend one of the most important events on the royal calendar, and in this case particularly, important because it is to salute the new monarch, Charles has once again made it clear that he is not particularly eager to mend fences with his younger son. Members of the royal family will gather for the special occasion. The Sussexes made a brief appearance as non-working broils in 2020, Two's Troop in the Color, which was also the late Queen's final event before her death in September. It must have been particularly painful not to be included in his grandmother's last appearance on the balcony, 
something he had until that moment done throughout his life. 